hi guys uh, in this video we are going to look at how we can uh, install git started by logging in and then we are going to open our terminal uh, in our ubuntu our linux machine and uh, we can just type in the git git command so to ensure that it's there so it seems that we do not have git and it's telling us we can install it using the command listed in the terminal sudo apt install git so we are going to type sudo apt install git it will ask us for our password so we have put the password and clicked enter and uh, we'll just say yes it is asks us whether we want to continue installing after showing the size and all that yeah so there's a step we had uh, left out, but it's it's not necessarily fundamental. By uh, sudo apt update and uh, upgrade, uh, if you're in a very new machine. So we have typed git, and you see we have the commands, uh, some uh, documentation that is showing. Uh, all these are the commands that you can use: git restore and all that. So type uh, yeah so when you type the git help it will show you the commands and the help information for the uh, git and then we're going to clear our screen and then we are going to type git version we can check version using the git uh, two dashes and the version uh, in this case i'm using git 2.25.1 and then we'll open our browser so that we can get uh, we can see how we can pull our uh, a project from uh, github in this case so just going to open a repository this is my repository uh, my github uh, repository we can try and see if we can clone one of the projects into our computer so I will select one of the projects and uh, in a previous video we did this when you are creating you are creating a project from uh, github so i've copied the link and i'm going to type git clone and then i paste the link for the github and it's now like downloading or pulling it into our computer so yeah it has uh, created that folder we have navigated into the folder and we can check uh git using the git remote uh, we can check which you can get the link of the project uh yeah seems to be uh, it should not be capital v so okay yeah it should be a small v and uh, there are no dashes on uh in front of the remote so yeah so when you type git remote dash v it gives us the link to the origin the project and uh, you can also use git fetch git checkout and all that uh, git branch the commands are quite a number and uh, we can uh, the best way to look at it for beginners or newbies is to be able to check the git documentation yeah so we i want us to edit this file we are editing one of the file and see how how it's going to come out so we have just edited something there and saved using the nano editor so when i type git status you'll notice that it indicates the requirements file is modified and it shows in red so git div shows us uh, changes in files or changes in any document so it shows us that in red that we have removed and uh, added some uh, so the green one that we have added and uh, the git diff shows us the history so the git history seems uh, not to be a command so yeah so that's how you can uh, uh, play around with git and uh, we are going to go to the git uh, website I'm going to add the link in the description below. So we you can refer to the Git documentation where we have the reference manual and it shows all these commands and what have you in the Git cheat sheet. And thanks for watching.
click share like subscribe to my channel for more content